Sisters. I am Kenya, and here with me is... Alyssa. Welcome to the 27th edition of the Whittier Morning Tea. We are here to bring you the latest news from D.C.'s very own Whittier Elementary School. You are watching Channel 9 News, where we spill the tea, and the news is always piping hot and and real. And now for a breaking news story. rising soccer star who is ready to make her mark on the field is the outstanding woman we like to highlight today. At just 18 years old, Trinity Rodman already had an impressive career playing soccer. She is a versatile player with talent and heart. Trinity began playing for the Washington Spirit in 2020 and recently made history when she became the youngest player to ever score in NWSL history. Her commitment to the sport and hard work paid off. She was named NWSL Rookie of the Year in 2020 season and is showing the world what she is capable of. Trinity Rodman is an impressive young woman who is ready to take her career to the next level. She already demonstrated her potential and is a player to keep an eye on. Thanks for taking the time to take a closer look at Trinity Ronman. Let's check out a short film about the rising star. For that. It'll be a new era for women's soccer, fresh off winning the promise of equal pay. The U.S. women's national team is already the early favorite to win the World Cup next summer. And the team may have some help from a 19-year-old phenom who is now the highest paid player in the history of the National Women's Soccer League. Her name Trinity Rodman. She's about to start her second season with the Washington Spirit. And Jan Crawford is at their stadium, Audi Field, where they play tonight. Uh, Jan, whatever it is, she's got it. Good morning. Oh, good morning, Trinity. You know, she's being compared to some of the greatest athletes in their sport. But here's the thing. When the defending Washington Spirit, when they take the field here later tonight, she's not even going to be old enough to buy a beer after the game. But this young phenom with that famous last name already has a history of firsts. Rodman! It doesn't take long for Trinity Rodman to hit her goals. Minutes into her debut! The youngest player ever drafted into the National Women's Soccer League. Rodman, absolutely on fire. Rodman led her team, the Washington Spirit, to the league title. This team of destiny! And won Rookie of the Year, all while she's still a teenager. I can't stay away from it. I love being on the field. I love competing. That drive is why the now 19-year-old decided to go pro after COVID canceled her freshman season in college, moving from Washington State to Washington, D.C., a city she had never even visited. Well, it's the hardest part. Being away from family, I'm really close to my family, and they've always been that support system if I'm going through something or if something's hard. But she hit the ground running. And the Washington Spirit rewarded Rodman with a record-breaking four-year, million-dollar-plus contract. What does it mean to you to be the highest-paid player ever in women's soccer? I mean, it's an honor. Um, Obviously, I just play to play, and this is a bonus. I think I'm showing younger players and even older players that have been in the league and haven't gotten paid what they deserve. It's been a pitched fight to level the playing field. Almost a quarter century after Brandy Chastain laid bare the dominance of U.S. women's soccer, the ultimate goal of equal pay eluded another generation of U.S. women's players until just last month. Obviously, men can be more athletic, they can be more skilled, but at the end of the day, we're all doing the same job. We're all putting in the hours, we're all putting in the work, we're all running our bodies to the ground. Keep it in front, keep it in front. A message Rodman took to heart when the late NBA great Kobe Bryant came up to her after seeing her play when she was eight. What do you say to you? Girls can do everything guys can do, and I think he always saw it that way, and having daughters helped him with that, and he saw so much in me at a young age, just how competitive I was and how serious I took it. He said you were a stud. Yeah. (laughs) Rodman credits her mother, Michelle Moyer, for supporting her dreams. 
Rodman trying to make his point. Her famous NBA dad, the eccentric Dennis Rodman, wasn't always in her life, as he acknowledged in 2019. The only major, major demon I have right now is trying to convince myself that I that I'm a good dad. Even as he was making headlines. Rodman just kicked the photographer. On and off the court. It sometimes can look like it's hard to outshine him or be as big as he was. It was just like kind of building my own story rather than trying to like overcome his. You know, you didn't have much relationship with him growing up. What, yeah. what have you gotten from him? He'd die on the court before he gave up and stopped trying. And I think it's really awesome to watch that. Like he would never give up. You could have so much athleticism and skill, but that mentality to never give up and always push yourself and push for your teammates and push for the win is what's going to make you the next level. He was there last year as she led her team in a playoff game. It meant the world for him to be at my game. He was emotional. I was emotional. Just to see how proud he was of me and knowing that, like, that's my daughter that just did that at 19. Let's go! Her head coach, Chris Ward, sees in Rodman greatness, comparing her play to a different Chicago Bulls Hall of Famer. She's just electric. She comes alive every time she gets the ball, and it's in ways that most people don't expect. So I think it's very similar to Michael Jordan's early years. You literally just compared her to Michael Jordan, probably the greatest athlete in his sport. Do you think she has that yeah, possibility for sure. yeah. um, to be the greatest? Yeah, 100%. He compared you to Michael Jordan, who oh, literally wow. is the greatest. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's awesome to hear. I didn't know he would say something like that. Now, with a new season starting, Rodman is ready to keep making her own name to defend her championship with lessons she learned her first year. I've learned to like be comfortable being uncomfortable and being able to like like pressure. I've noticed I kind of enjoy it and I always have because you can prove people wrong and you can set the bar even higher than people expect. Now we asked Trinity and her coach how people can support women's soccer. And they said it's pretty simple. Show up. I mean, just come to these games. The women's uh, soccer season just getting started. Your morning tea. I'm Evan, and here with me is Maxwell. As you know, the whole school is reading Matilda for one school, one book. I know! I love reading Roald Dahl's books! Me too. Each week, Mr. Stratton gives us a trivia question. Here is the question for this week Who put a newt in Miss Trunstable's water jug? <laughs> Remember to put your answer in the box in the front by 12 p.m. All who answers correctly are eligible to win a prize. Good, Good luck, luck, everybody! That's all the news that we have for today. Be sure to tune in next week for another edition of the Whittier Morning Tea. Where we spill the tea and the news is always piping, piping hot, hot and real. real. I am Kenya and... I'm Melissa, signing, signing off. off. Have, Have a, a peaceful, peaceful and productive day, and do it the Whittier Warrior way. And remember, if trouble finds you, find the nearest adult. If trouble finds you, find the nearest adult. Thank you.